Welcome to Go Keto with Coach Kayla, Part 3. My name is Coach Kayla and I've been a practitioner of good health, fitness, and nutrition for the past 30 years. And the ketogenic diet by far is the most sustainable, uh, nutritionally sound, and research and evidence-based nutrition style that I have ever come across. I use it in my own life. I've been keto for the past year and a half and I've seen some amazing results. Most people think of keto and they think of just weight loss or diabetes or hypertension or cholesterol or those issues. I don't have any of those issues, but I've seen some good fat loss and some amazing muscle gains, so much so that I've been able to compete and win in my first powerlifting competition all by going keto. So what I want to do is I want you to see those same results that I have. So the purpose of this three-part series is to teach you effectively the steps to go keto to make sure it works for you, your lifestyle, and your body. In this three-part series, guys, we reviewed step one, which was intermittent fasting. So intermittent fasting, take a look here for the video to, the, to find the details and what to do and how to do. Step two was also macro maintenance. All right, watch those videos to make sure you understand the details and the step-by-steps to how to go keto. So subscribe to me guys on YouTube, um, click that bell for notifications anytime I go live or anytime I post new video content. Also follow me on other platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat at Coach Kayla and be informed and let me give you the best information I can to help you design your body. And here's the final step into going keto. Step three is micronutrient balance. So micronutrient balance is all about how to maintain cellular function, uh, muscle, how to maintain uh, uh, protein synthesis, how to allow our bodies to continue to function or to start functionally functioning optimally. Now, keto is all about cutting carbs. Um, especially those high carbs, whether those high carbs comes from fruits, veggies, or even grains, if it's high carb, it's got to go. Now, the dangerous part in that is that when we are cutting out those higher starch and carbohydrate uh, uh, fruits and veggies and grains, those things also come with some good and important nutrients. So I want to take the time to teach you how to get the nutrients from those fruits, veggies, and grains without eating it from fruits, veggies, and grains. So this is not to say that the ketogenic diet is, is going to support or push you towards uh, uh, malnutrition or, or uh, vitamin deficiencies. No, not at all. Now, if you're only eating eggs and bacon and cheese, then yes, you will be undernourished, right? But a well-formulated ketogenic plan is perfect in all aspects, in all areas, okay? Um, most people start off wrongly the ketogenic diet by eating just lettuce wrapped bacon burgers and eggs and butter and cheese and, and, and salmon and that's it. No, this is not how you do it. You're not going to get the proper nutrients. You're not going to get the proper um, vitamins and minerals. It's not just about if it fits your macros. No, that's not nutrition as a whole. It's about micronutrients, balancing out the macros, balancing out the calories. And all that works together with your weight loss, your health, and your hormones. Here's how to do it. Let's get started with the nutrients. So when you start off going keto and burning through or releasing those carbohydrates, you're going to urinate a ton. The reason is because for every one gram of carbohydrates that your body carries, you're going to carry roughly three additional grams of water. And so when our body releases that excess water, we're also going to release and lose some important electrolytes like potassium, sodium, magnesium, calcium, and even phosphorus. Phosphorus is a precursor to the electrolyte phos uh, phosphate. So I'm going to show you how to maintain your proper electrolyte balance. I'll spare you the scientific details and the intermolecular workings of how all that stuff does, but I will tell you shortly what they do and how to get it and where to get it from. First up for our electrolytes is sodium. Now, sodium is one of the most misconceived um, um, electrolytes and nutrients in the body. We've always been told lower your sodium is going to give you hypertension, but that is scientifically wrong, and research does not show that. Um, your aim for sodium in the normal American diet, particularly ketogenic diet, is three to five grams per day. The standard is what? Is it 2.3 milligram, 2.3 thousand milligrams a day? So up your sodium intake. Now, sodium helps in controlling your blood pressure, maintaining optimal hydration levels. So that is actually a help for your body. Where to find it? Clearly, add salt. 
Stay away from the from the iodine and the iodized salt. But add the, your salts like your Himalayan pink salt or sea salt, whatever else. You can also get it from bone broths and bouillon cubes. Next up is potassium. So as your body loses sodium, you have a function called a sodium potassium pump. Long story short, potassium will follow sodium wherever it goes. To up it, you want to aim for 4.5 grams per day. Now, potassium also helps with, um, with cellular hydration and pH, okay? Deficiencies can lead to constipation, irritability, physical weakness, and loss in muscle mass, and also skin problems. Where to find potassium? Mushrooms, kale, avocado, and spinach on a roll. Next is magnesium. Magnesium is responsible for over 300 chemical processes in the body. Now you want to aim for half a gram of magnesium a day. Um, the critical role of magnesium is in protein synthesis, okay? Energy production, fatty acid formulation, as well as cell production. When you are deficient in magnesium, a lot of times, this is where and why you get muscle cramps, not in the gym, but in the middle of the night. Where to find magnesium? Oysters, pumpkin seeds, Swiss chard, and spinach. Ding, ding, ding for the greens. All right, next up is calcium. We've all known calcium to be good for teeth and for bones, um, but it's also knowing that it's not only from sources of milk. You want to aim for one to two grams of calcium per day. Calcium helps in blood clotting and muscle contractions and also blood pressure regulation, not just teeth and bones. Where to find it? Almonds, kale, raw bro broccoli, cheese, and sardines. And the last, most, most, most important electrolyte is phosphorus. Now, phosphorus is certainly an unsung hero. You want to aim for about 70 milligrams a day, which isn't a lot, but a lot of people, it's hard to come by. Um, it helps with hormone regulation, um, nutrient utilization. So also deficiencies can lead to anxiety, trouble concentrating, tooth decay, and general weakness and weakness in the bones. Where to find phosphorus? Almonds, broccoli, eggs, sunflower seeds, and grass-fed beef. Now, moving on to highly important vitamins. We went from our electrolytes, now hitting our vitamins. Primarily, we're gonna focus on B vitamins. So a well-formulated ketogenic diet um, requires consuming high amounts of dark leafy greens and vegetables in general and as well as a modest amount of, of, of meats particularly red meats so B vitamins are very plentiful in those areas but just to make sure if you don't eat meat which you can totally still go keto on I'm going to show you what you need to do and how you need to do it so you want to aim for colorful non-starchy veggies if you don't eat meat and especially if you do eat meat okay um, B1 is thiamine, and it helps with carb and fat breakdown as well as ATP creation. B2 is riboflavin, breaks down fats and amino acids. B3 is niacin, helps with cell restoration, um, central nervous system performance, skin, sex hormones, and memory. B5 is pantothenic acid. Um, it helps extra extract energy from fat as well as helps to produce RBCs, which are your red blood cells. Uh, B6 is Peroxidine, okay? Um, RBC formation, immune pr uh, performance, protein, and carbohydrate metabolism influences brain processes, okay? The next one is B7. We've got biotin, fat synthesis, protein, and energy metabolism. It also helps with cholesterol regulation. B9 is folate, red blood cell formation, particularly pregnant women. You know why that's important. Um, and B12, not going to pronounce it, um, but it's known as the king of energy and helps with mental clarity, RBC formation, and fatty acid metabolism. Where do you get it? Get it from grass-fed beef. Get it from your leafy greens and your leafy vegetables, um, from fish, nuts, and yes, you can also get it from dairy. Um, next, guys, we're rolling through. We've got omega-3 fatty acids. Naturally, Americans are deficient in omega-3s because we eat so much crap, so much processed foods, so much uh, shelf-stable things that are high in the antithesis, which is omega-6. We want to balance that out. So if you are a caveman and only consume red meats, you're doing it wrong. That's not how you do the ketogenic diet. Omega-3s are extremely important and most of us, again, are malnourished in it. You want to aim for four grams a day of omega-3s. It helps to reduce inflammation. Okay, which is super important. Brain development, cardiovascular health, and blood pressure regulation as well. Where to find it? You want to go for the wild-caught salmon, albacore tuna, um, sardines, hemp seeds, and yes, even egg yolks are great for you. All right, iodine. Okay, so we do want to stop eating table salt. We know that table salt is, is 
also has a um, iodine in it, okay? But you want to stop eating table salt because that's too much. It's iodine overdose. Um, but it's another unsung hero. Iodine helps regulate thyroid hormones and all that kind of good stuff. Now, in the keto diet, you want to switch from table salt to pink or to Himalayan to black to sea salt. Uh, but doing that can also kind of reduce the iodine that you do or take. So you want to balance it out. You want to aim for 150 micrograms per day. Um, where to find it? Get it in cod, tuna, cheese, eggs, and powdered kelp or just regular kelp. So yes, skip the table salt, but eat whole foods. You guys know how I am by now. All right, next up is iron. The last big one that we're going to go over. Iron is essential for proper growth, whether it's muscle growth or total body growth. And black women often have deficiencies in iron itself. You want to aim for 8 to 30 milligrams per day. Now, iron itself, it increases hemoglobin formation, which affects dozens of other body functions um, like muscle, brain, energy, and other functions, okay? So where to find iron? Cooked spinach, dark chocolate, um, hemp seeds, pumpkin seeds, raw broccoli, eggs, and of course, red meat. Now, when it comes to supplements, whole foods by far are the best option. Okay, to receiving and to getting all these nutrients in because they are balanced. You want to have a well-formulated ketogenic plan to help your body sustain itself. But if you're one of those millions of annoying, picky, and finicky eaters, you might just need to suck it up and pop a pill, okay? Because you don't want to sacrifice a uh, good nutrition because you're just picky, all right? Um, so all in all, guys, a well-formulated ketogenic diet is one of the most scientifically sound ways of eating. You can lose weight, gain muscle, get off diabetes, um, um, rid yourself of, of hypertension, um, reduce inflammation, all autoimmune diseases, it will help Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, whatever else, it will help, okay? Again, I've been here for about a year, year and a half now, and I've seen some amazing results myself, um, and I want to help you see those same results. If you need help with starting your ketogenic diet, holla at me. Let me know. Most people start off the wrong way, but you have the opportunity to use me and start off the right way. If you're watching this video, I'm going to give you a $15 coupon off of a nutrition coaching session, which we can do anywhere in the world because it's right where you are now on your phone or on your computer with me. Okay. Um, make sure you reference this video to receive that $15 uh, coupon on our nutrition coaching session. Guys, I hope this helps you with your journey on going keto. Make sure you subscribe to me here on YouTube. Ding that bell for notifications. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that fun stuff. And I hope this helps you on your journey to going keto with Coach Kayla. Always design your body.